what if I told you there was one of the most pointless graphics cards about to be released and that my friends is the Nvidia RTX 4080 Ti. Now why am I saying that this is probably one of the most pointless graphics cards to release? We're going to save that for the end of the video and we are going to start this by just simply reading the article over on the video cards website so that you can see what is going on right now. Mega Size GPU, a highly reliable hardware leaker, has hinted at the possibility of Nvidia introducing a fresh addition to its graphics card lineup named the Ether, the RTX 4080 Ti or RTX 4080 Super. According to a tweet, the final designation remains undecided. Given Nvidia's apparent departure from the Super Series in the RTX 30 series and the absence of a TI variant for the 4080, it appears more likely to be named the RTX 4080 Ti. While official specifications of this card have not yet emerged, there are indications that the underlying GPU is going to receive an upgrade to 8102 specifications with a targeted total graphics power TGP of less than 450 watts. It's worth noting that the current RTX 4080 model features the 8103 GPU with 9,728 CUDA cores falling short of the full capacity of the graphics processor, which boasts 10,240 cores. This suggests that Nvidia is aiming for even greater performance, bridging the gap between 9,728 and 16,384 core specifications of the RTX 4090. And then on Twitter, Megasize GPU ended up tweeting, there will be a 4080S, maybe TI in quotations, in early 2024. Based on 8102, TGP below 450 watts, same price range as the RTX 4080. Although the power consumption of the RTX 4080, currently rated at 320 watts, may see an increase, it's important to note that without details on memory specifications, this increase may not necessarily be substantial. The RTX 4080 Ti could support 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which gives it a good position between 24 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. Configurations as seen on 4090 and the 4080, however, this configuration would require a 320-bit memory bus. According to the leaked information, the anticipated launch date for this new model is early 2024, and the speculation of NVIDIA releasing cards like the RTX 4090 Ti or RTX 4080 Ti has long persisted, as the existing non-Ti variants do not fully utilize the ADA silicon. The card could feature the RTX 4080 price point of $1,200, meaning that the original RTX 4080 is heading for a price cut at some point. Now we're gonna we're gonna quickly showcase the specs for all of you to see on screen here, and I'm gonna quickly tell you why this is the most pointless thing for you to buy. Not necessarily the most pointless graphics card, but the most pointless thing to buy. Based off of the market over the past four years almost at this point, I'm just going to take a wild guess that the normal 4080 is probably not going to go down more than $100 from its MSRP because right now it's not MSRP either. So that's just more proof that the 4080 Ti is not going to release at MSRP because if the 4080 isn't even at that point yet, why would a brand new graphics card be at that point? Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff.